Uh, hi guys, we're the students from the Conatec for the Embedded System class, and this is our final project with. Uh, my name is Zhi Yuan Jia, and this is my teammate. Hi guys, I'm Shi Chao Feng. Uh, so first, let me introduce you some uh, brief information about this project. So um, our project is called WIS. It's an IoT device, so which can provide security for your home. Once a burglar breaks in your home, you will get a warning on your phone, and also the beeper inside the box will ring up and uh, scare scare off the thieves. Uh, also, you can get some information while you put on your shoes by the door uh, about today's weather. Uh, so this in, inside of this box, that's all the control units of our project. So several um, MCUs and uh, some peripherals, but you don't have to worry about this part. So this part is our implementation, and uh, what you have to interact with is just this part. This part is our user interface. So we'll uh, give more detailed information about it later. Uh, so let's begin the our demo. Uh, now let me to brief introduce about how the security path work. And you can see in the interface, there have two buttons, and you can just press these two buttons to switch the modes. You can press these buttons, switch to the security modes, and also you can press these buttons. Again, change back to the same modes. And also you can use your phones to remotely set the modes. Let's see that if you want to change to the security modes. Just wait for some moments. Now it's changed to the security mode. And now in the security mode, if some burgers break in, you can see that they have a distance sensors. So let's see if someone was just move around your houses. You can see that our beepers will allow me and uh, also the in the screens you have a messages that run if someone breaking and also your phone will receive the messages. Sorry guys, due to the poor signal here, we might want to wait a few seconds yeah, for sure. the message. And in these states, we can see that we disable these save modes uh, buttons. If some burgers want to set it back to save mode, you can see that it's not work again. However, only our users' phones can set the save mode again. So, let's see. Also, wait a few couple of seconds. Yeah, sure. Now let's go back to save mode now. So this is all our security parts. Now let's my friends to talk about the weather forest cut part. Okay. Um, in this part, that's the little bar right here. Uh, it consists of one button and two LED, LED lights and one LCD screen. So the red light here indicates that the weather is going to be banned. Uh, so it's either raining or uh, snowing right now or will happen uh, during this day or this night. It will, the red light here will uh, turn on, indicate our user want to check more detailed information about the uh, weather forecast in this little screen right here. And uh, this little screen actually has four pages and uh, our user can use this button to select which page he wants to look into. So the first page is the current weather and current temperature. Next page, minimum and tem maximum temperature. And next two pages are the daylight uh, weather forecast and nightlight weather forecast. It says rain, so uh, that's why we get a red light right here. So uh, if, some, if our user uh, see the green light here, that means uh, it probably won't be... So the weather for today is going to be very good. Uh, you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, and we keep uh, pulling this uh, weather forecast information from the website using an API called Accurate, accurate uh, weather API. Um, we update this information every hour, 
so you don't have to worry about it's outdated. Um, so that's basically it. That's for our project with. Thanks.